Hello again. You know, everything is coming up rosy at the Hollywood Bowl tomorrow night. That's right. Rosemary Clooney joins forces with the Buddy Rich Orchestra for a night of sensational music. And I say sensational because her music uh, is something that is absolutely timeless. I love the phrasing. I love the way that when you get on stage and you, you seem to, to, to feed off the audience. They're happy to see you and you're happy to see them. And it's like, get down and let's play. It's true. It's true. And especially with the big band, you know. Uh -huh. Buddy Rich is, uh, is fantastic. Uh, Harry Jane's band is going to be there, too. So it's going to be um, some good music for all, all night long. Rosie, I hope this isn't a, an unfair question or I put you on the spot, but uh, gee, you've played with the best in these band leaders and with these orchestras over the years. Is there a personal favorite or is there a special moment with one of the groups that uh, you think about from time to time? I did a television show in, uh, in the early 50s with, uh, with the Hilos and Nelson Riddle's orchestra. And I still think that musically that was probably the best show that I've ever been involved with. Mm -hmm. Why was it? Did it just reflect the, the times and... Uh... Well, we did mostly standard songs, but Nelson is such a wonderful arranger. Mm -hmm. And and then uh, the fact that we did just the best possible music, and we pre-recorded it so that there were no, uh, there were no kind of slip-ups as far as the, the recording end of it. I guess I'm a little surprised because I thought perhaps I'd hear Mitch Miller's name uh, <laughs> uh, come in here somewhere. Oh, I'm, it's not that I'm ungrateful to Mitch Miller. He's responsible for my being anywhere, really. He, he picked the hits. He, at that time, could really figure out what was going to be popular with the people and what wasn't. Mm -hmm. He had his finger on the pulse of the nation for a while. When he first approached you about a song with the title, Come Out of My House, what was your first reaction? Well, Harold, you know, I, I think that I was uh, in the midst of a, a time... I, I got very pompous about whatever talent I had, and so I thought that I should do very serious love songs all the time. So I thought it was a kind of a, uh, an innocuous piece, not too interesting. And uh, he, he put it a nice way, though. He said, if you don't show up tomorrow morning to record this, you're fired. <laughs> I understood that. Yeah. Got right through to me immediately. <laughs> I knew what he meant. <laughs> it didn't leave a lot of doubt in your mind. No, that, no, no, no. Made up my mind absolutely. Oh, yes, is that the way it is? I'm there, yes. You know, the music that uh, you continue to sing is, in fact, I consider to be a national treasure. But I'm sure that over the years, the temptation to do something else has come along. H have, you, have you in the studio things that we don't know about? Has Rosemary Clooney gone into the studio and gone off in another direction just for the heck of it? Not so much, really. During the 50s, I, I was really in the, in the mainstream pop department. I've been recording for a jazz label for seven years, though. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's wonderful to get in a, in a studio with very young, talented musicians that are jazz players and, uh, and kind of get the feelings that they have for, for the music which I grew up with, which is very, you know, new to them because they're very young. Uh -huh. uh, I did Harold Arlen and uh, Ira Gershwin, and I just finished Irving Berlin, that, an album with, about Irving Berlin, you know, with all his songs. So that's, uh, that's been a joyful Boy, what a time. teaming, huh? Yeah. You and her, oh, my gosh. These young musicians, do they, do they have the chops of uh, their predecessors? There are some wonderful ones, Harold. Scott Hamilton and Warren Vachet, and uh, just very young, good players that yeah. are amazing. Let me ask you something about playing at the Hollywood Bowl tomorrow night. You've lived in Southern California for the past 30 years. Is there any pressure at all playing or added pressure playing in front of the home crowd? A little bit, because it's, uh, my family is here, naturally. My children all live here. And so it's the first time that, uh, that mom, you know, has an audience of, uh, well, you know, including their, their 25 most intimate friends apiece. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I've got the audience stacked, really. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's wonderful, though. I, just to walk out on the stage and see the boxes with the, with the candelabra and the lunches that they've packed and the wine Ooh. and everything. Well, it's kind of stylish. We call that pinkies up at the bowl. Oh, yeah, pinkies up at the bowl. Pinkies up, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Now, all of these friends and everything, do they, uh, do they hound you for tickets? You they mean call, freebies? Yeah, freebies. Yeah. Little comps, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mom, we'd like section 22. <laughs> exactly. Seats exactly. one through 300. Exactly. You huh? got it. That's yeah. It. What can we look forward to tomorrow night? You mentioned uh, the two orchestras that'll be there yeah. and uh, the standards. I've got a I've got a long medley really uh, that uh, is devoted to Duke Ellington. In the fifties, I recorded with Duke a, uh, an album called Blue Rose. Blue Rose is the title of a song that that Duke wrote for me, mm -hmm. and so this that part is going to be dedicated to him and his music, and uh, I like doing it, and I think people will like it.
I wish you the best. Thank you, Harold. And keep I, I, singing. I'm a big fan of yours. I watch every day. Oh, how nice of you to say. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Plus, your brother's not doing bad either. Right? <laughs> Rosemary Clooney will be handling, uh, will be headlining. He reads better than I do, too. He'll be headlining at the Hollywood Bowl tomorrow night. We'll be back by the Buddy Rich Orchestra. Check it out. A lot of fun. Quick and easy meals that are nutritious, too. You bet. Right after this.